Hi guys, it's Jeff here, the Photographer's Mentor, and in this short video, I'm going to talk to you about joint ventures and collaborations, in particular what I call preferred partnership schemes and also incentive referral schemes. So what are joint ventures and collaborations? Well, a joint venture or collaboration works with other businesses, vendors, and people who already serve your ideal clients. So what you want to be looking out for is businesses, vendors, and people who serve your ideal clients, but are at the very same price point as you. So for example, if you're a wedding photographer, but you are charging a premium for your wedding photography, there's no point getting involved with a budget wedding shop because their clients won't be the right price point for your services. Another thing you need to think about is where your clients or your partner's clients come in the buying journey. So for example, if you're again, you're a wedding photographer and you partnered with maybe a makeup artist or a wedding car uh, hire firm, the chances are by the time the person gets to the makeup artist or the wedding car hire firm, they will already have secured their photographer. The better option for partnerships here would be a bridal shop or a wedding venue. Now, likewise, if you're a commercial photographer, if you're looking for somebody who already serves your ideal clients, a partnership might be more lucrative and productive if you went for, say, for instance, a web designer or a graphic designer. Because if you went to, for a printer, somebody who prints leaflets and brochures, the chances are by the time they get to a printer, they already have the images and material content sorted to get the brochures printed. So you wanna go further back up the chain when people are actually thinking about getting, uh, getting their whatever services they are. So no matter what type of photographer you are, there is lots of opportunity for joint ventures and collaboration. In fact, as photographers now, we have unlimited opportunity out there for us. And quite often, this opportunity is there in the form of an email, a telephone call, or even just sending a message on LinkedIn. We can literally connect with anybody we want in any company, in any business around the world. And all we have to do is reach out and ask for that opportunity to collaborate or opportunity to create a joint venture. So how can you benefit from a joint venture? Well, a joint venture can benefit you in lots of ways. First of all, you can have a steady stream of qualified client referrals from your joint venture partner. You can create content together and also help build your social media from your client, your um, referred partner's social media following. You can use your client uh, partner's um, authority and standing within the community or within the industry that you serve to help bolster your standing and authority too. So what do you need to think about when you're looking for a joint venture partner? Well, first of all, you need to align yourself with a brand or a business or a person who has very similar aspirations, a very similar message or very similar sort of um, brand to yourself. So you want to make sure it's a well thought of brand. They are very well thought of within your niche and within your community. And you want to make sure that these people are very active on social media. So it's worth checking out uh, social media uh, profiles, social media pages to see how many followers they have, how often they're posting. Then you want to check out their website. What is their website like? Does it rank very highly on Google? Do they create blog content? Have a look at their blog, see how active their blog is and how often they're producing content. And another thing to check out for is reviews. Check out their Google My Business page. Also, do a few searches, type in the, uh, the company's name and, and type in things, you know, bad reviews or reviews of and that particular company's name. Because if there is any real negative press about this company, if they do have, um, you know, you find out later that they do have some, some very negative press and, and you're linked to them, you don't want that bouncing back off your whole business. So when you've self found yourself a partner who serves your ideal client, they have the same missions and values of you. They have a really good uh, a really good following on social media, a strong website, a well-positioned and easy found, and probably a, you know, a, a good blog with a good email list as well. It's worth approaching these people to talk about partnerships, a preferred partnership program. So there's two ways you can do this. The first and really effective way, and I've used this a lot before with wedding shops, with my photography business, 
I use this with a, a web designer for our commercial photography business. And we also use this really effectively with our pet photography side of things through dog groomers. So what you need to do is you need to approach your preferred partner and say that you are creating a preferred partnership program. And what you would like them to do is to refer your services to their clients. And in exchange for every referral that you get, which leads to a booking, you will offer them a commission, either a commission on sales or a payment. So when we worked with wedding shops, bridal shops, every time a bridal shop booked, we got a, a lead and that led to a booking, we would pay them a commission. And that commission was between 50 and 100 pounds, depending on the type of package the bride went for. Now, a great way to make these preferred partnership programs really work is to give your partners a voucher. And these vouchers need to be really high end. They, look, they need to look premium. And this voucher should be printed on maybe DL size uh, print stock, a bit like the standard envelope size. They work really well for vouchers. And they should have a monetary amount on the front. So it might have £100 or you know, $150, something like that, very big on the front of the voucher, along with your logo and your partner's logo as well. So it will say something like, uh, Bill Smith Photography in collaboration with K9 Dog Groomers uh, would like to invite you to a pet portrait session with this voucher, which entitles you to £100 off the cost of your pet portrait sitting and associated products. So if, for instance, your pet portrait sitting is £100 and your products start at £200, then the person is going to have to spend some money if they want to buy additional products. So it's a great way to get pre-qualified people into your studio. And then you could work out with the pet groomers that every time somebody spends money on products, you will give them a 5% or 10% kickback. So a great way to put this together is to tell them what your average order is. So if your average order is £1,000 or £2,000, you can say, you know, with my average order being £2,000, you can earn up to £200 every time you give me a referral and they come to the studio and spend. Now, one of the big things for joint venture programs to, to really work, as I said, these vouchers have got to look really good, but they've got to be kept under the counter. These vouchers should be handed out by the vendor to their clients at the time of booking or purchase. So when a, a bride books her wedding dress with the wedding shop, the uh, the wedding uh, the girl behind the counter will come out with one of these vouchers. She'll write her name on the back of the voucher in one of the little boxes and will write on the date the voucher is issued. Because in the terms and conditions on the voucher, you want to say on the back that this voucher has no cash alternative. This voucher cannot be used in conjunction with any other offer. This voucher is valid until 28 days from the date of issue because you need to add that um, that sort of urgency because you don't want people to just get that voucher, put it in a drawer and forget about it. So the bridal shop would hand this voucher to the bride and say, I've got a great special offer for you here, great special uh, VIP exclusive offer uh, for our customers only. We've teamed up with this great wedding photographer. Uh, do you have your photographer? No, I don't. Great. Well, he's a voucher and this entitles you to £100 off the cost of all their album packages. Just hand this voucher to, or to them, tells you that uh, you got it from Claire and they will look after you. They're fantastic photographers, you know, really, really couldn't recommend them highly enough. So that bride is now being sold to by a third party. She's which comes a lot stronger than if you're trying to sell yourself. If she's had a recommendation from somebody who she already knows, likes and trusts further up the line before coming to the photographer. That is really, really powerful. But like I said, it's really powerful if these vouchers are kept under the counter. If they're just lying around anywhere for anyone to pick up, they don't have that same effectiveness. You know, like you wouldn't leave hundred pound notes lying around anywhere. The same as these vouchers, a hundred pound special offer vouchers, they're kept underneath the cabinet. So that's a great way of forming relationships with a vendor. Another way to form great relationships is what I call um, an incentive referral reward. And what that's for is for businesses who don't really want to bother with the commission side of things. Now, we did a great one for our portrait studio with BMW. Now, obviously, BMW, the local BMW franchise, isn't interested in getting incentives 
uh, commissions from us. But what they did want to do is add extra value to their customers when they purchased a new BMW. And obviously their clients were our ideal clients too. We, you know, people with high disposable incomes who were buying a brand new BMW were perfect partners, perfect clients for us. So when the person bought the new BMW, the BMW salesman would say, ah, well, we have a special offer for you for a family portrait at uh, our preferred partner studio. And we've got this exclusive voucher for you, which is 200 pounds from the for the cost of a family portrait and associated products. This so was a great way for us to get in front of our ideal clients. And it was a great way for BMW to go that extra mile and look like they really, really did care about their clients. So that's two ways of offering joint ventures with a preferred partnership reward scheme so that the, uh, the partner is rewarded with commissions and then a referral scheme that allows a partner to give an incentive or give something of value to their clients to make them look good. So that's two ways of utilizing joint ventures. I'm going to be doing another video later on to tell you a bit more about other joint ventures and collaborations that you can do. Now, one thing about joint ventures is you've got to keep them going. You've got to keep that momentum going and you've got to keep that relationship going. When we worked with our bridal shops and dog groomers and uh, other businesses in our local area to promote the studio and to promote our wedding photography, we made sure that they never forgot about us. We would actually go to the wedding shops uh, at least once a month and just drop in cakes. So we'd go in and say, hi girls, got some cakes to go with your coffee. They thought we were fantastic. And if any other photographer tried to come into the shop to hand out leaflets, the girls would take the leaflets and the minute the photographer walked out the door, they would chuck them in the bin because all the other photographers weren't giving them commission. They weren't looking after them. They weren't calling in with cakes to go with their coffee. They weren't offering to do photographs of, of their shop for their website. Or we'd send one of our photographers along whenever they had a wedding fair to take photographs at the store. We built quality relationships, which made the people really eager to refer us. So you've got to keep that going. And remember, these all start by reaching out. And in my book, The Ambitious Photographer's Journal, I don't know if you've got a copy of The Ambitious Photographer's Journal, but this is something I really cover massively in the journal is joint ventures and co collaborations. And I encourage people to reach out every Wednesday in what I call Opportunity Wednesday, because this is when you send that message, you get in touch, you phone somebody, you walk into a store and say, would you be interested in a joint venture that is going to earn you money? And it's surprising that when you do something like this, how many people actually turn around and say, yes, jump at the chance. You know, I never thought we'd get a chance to work with a prestigious firm like BMW, but they loved the idea. They absolutely loved it. And obviously the bridal shops who we worked with, you know, some of these wedding shops, one actual wedding um, <clears throat> saleswoman in the shop, one young girl, she said to me, Jeff, I want to I want to book your two and a half thousand pound wedding package, but I don't want to I don't want to pay for it. I'm getting married in uh, 18 months time. and I'm going to make it my mission to get my wedding for free. That one girl referred us 24 different weddings. Um, <clears throat> so in the end, this is, you know, your commission covers the wedding and we'll give you some we'll give you some parent albums as well. She went out of our way to refer us. And remember, there was quite a few people in that, quite a few members of staff in that shop. You know, so when you build these relationships, it can be really highly effective. Joint ventures and collaborations are a fantastic way of, um, go, you know, really building your, your, your business, becoming the go-to photographer in your niche. And the other great thing about joint ventures and collaborations is they're pretty much risk-free. They cost you little or nothing to set up. You know, the only charge you might have is that printing cost. And if you use firms like, you know, print24.com, which does cheap but high quality printing, you can probably get your printing done for, you know, 50 pounds for these vouchers. So that's all it's going to take. A little bit of time, build that relationship up, get some vouchers done. You have you don't have to spend money on expensive AdWords or, or put, um, adverts in magazines or anything like that. They really, really are very cost effective, but highly effective forms of collaboration and marketing for your business so hope you found this useful guys if you do have any any questions as always just drop me a message if you want to find out more about what i do head over to my website thephotographersmentor.com and remember you can always 
reach out and ask me a question. Follow me on Facebook. It's Jeff Brown, The Photographer's Mentor, and connect with me on LinkedIn, The Photographer's Mentor. Thanks again, guys, and hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.